Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and today, as I told you on Monday, we are going to do a CNC project from start to finish, from programming to finishing. It's going to take a little longer than the normal video that I put out, but this way you can see every little step that I go through from programming, the time I spend on that, all the way through till we put polyurethane on it. So what I've chosen for today is just a little piece of uh, home decor. I'm just going to do a little home sweet home sign with some nice little, uh, some graphics that are around the sides, that little accents that just kind of really make it set off. So that's what we're doing today is a home sweet home sign. So let's go. Okay, so here we are in Vetric Aspire. Somewhere over here, I'd hit create new file. And my settings are already set at 16 wide by 8 tall. I'm pretty happy with that. I think we're going to go with that this time. We've got it at three quarters of an inch thickness, which is good. It's actually going to be a little bit thicker than that, but we're not going past that depth anyway. So hit OK. So here we have our blank slate. We're going to do something simple. We're going to uh, maybe use a Cambria. And we're going to type the word home. OK. Take this, drag it up here to this corner. I want it to be a little bit bigger. We'll copy that, paste it, and we'll drag it to this other corner. Okay, next, I want to do another text, and I want to do the word sweet. So what we're going to do is a little different font. Ooh, I like that one right there. Let's just do the black chancery. Blow it up a little bigger. We'll see what it looks like centered. I like my positioning of the home, so I'll just take this a little off center. Kind of put it right in the middle of the page. Okay, so next we are going to import some graphics. So we'll go right here to Google. We'll do, there we go, corner accents, clip art. I've obviously been in here a couple of times. Go to images. Ooh, I really like that second one right there. So over here looks the same. Let's go and see what they got. That one's about the same too. Let's go back up here and see about this one. That one's 900 by 940 pixels, so that'll be pretty good. Let's do save image. Okay, so we'll save image. Okay, we're back over here in Aspire, so now, now we need to go get our little clip art. So we'll run out of here. It's right here in downloads. Click on that. Open it up. Right down here, this little bird looking thing is Trace Bitmap. We're going to click on that. Looks like it's going to come through good. We're going to hit Preview, Apply, Close. I'm going to click right here on that square and hit Delete. So it just leaves me the outline of this little clip art. So we'll shrink that down. So we'll lock it. Okay. Let's copy. Paste. Okay, so we'll drag our copy going over here. We're going to go right here on transform object. This one in the middle that looks like a cross. It's a rotate object. We'll rotate it to 180 degrees. Apply. So then we're going to try to get this centered down in the corner as well as we can. It's kind of some equal spacing is what I'm after. That looks pretty good on that one. It seems not really wanting to move for me. Here we go. Let's 
little close. That looks pretty good on that one. So our spacing looks fairly good. I think this is still a little closer. Okay, they're better. So right there is our completed clip art. Let's save this as home sweet home. Save. Okay, so let's make sure that's highlighted. We're going to zip over to the toolpath page. Everything's highlighted here. Looks pretty good. So we're just going to go over here and do a V carve on it. So I'm going to run right there to that V. Click on this. Right here, clearance tools. So if I want to use a quarter inch end mill and clear out any big spaces, I can use that. For writing and stuff like that, generally I don't do that. So I've got a half inch 90 degree V bit selected. Eh, 0.17. Well, that's a little deep. I like about 0.15, so we're going to go there on depth. We're going to calculate the cut time. That's what it's going to look like. We're going to hit Preview Selected. I'll slow it down a little bit so you can see how it works. And we probably won't go with blue, probably a black in that. That's a pretty good looking little piece right there. So from there, you can see the cut time says 8 minutes 49 seconds. So I'm going to hit close. I'm going to go right here to this bottom right to save toolpath. Click on that. Save toolpath. And we're going to go to toolpaths. I want to save it as home, sweet home. And a lot of times I do this too. I type 90V, so I'll know what bit I was using. Save. Okay. Go ahead and close that. So now I'm putting a memory stick in. Put a memory stick in. I'm going to go back to my home screen over here to my toolpath folder. Run down here to Home Sweet Home 90V. Stick that memory stick in. There's my USB drive. Go right here in out of the toolpath, I literally just left click, hold, drag it over here and just get out here in the open and click and it puts it right there on my thumb drive. Go down here, eject my cruiser, and I remove it. Off to the shop we go. So if y'all noticed right there, when I was cutting down my material, I actually cut this at 18 inches. If you remember when we programmed it, it's 16 inches long. I did it 18 inches. So when I'm on the CNC, I'll have room to clamp and don't have any worries about hitting my clamps with a spindle.
was it guys it's still kind of wet but it came out looking awfully cool you can see that the poly's still wet I can still see it reflecting but you saw whenever I was in there doing the painting process I used that same method as a time or two ago I guess it was last time whenever I did a cut uh, one of the viewers told me hey after you cut spray in the cut areas with the polyurethane it'll help the paint come off I really kind of like that process it's really working well it really helps the paint come away from the wood and y'all can see I'm still sweating through it seems like it ought to be getting to be fall but it is 103 degrees in my shop and once again you know I get people asking me why I don't put air conditioning out in my shop it's because we have such a high humidity level in Oklahoma if I put air conditioning in here we'd get condensation condensation and power tools bad bedfellows that would be lots of rust so guys that's going to be it for today it was just a little piece of home decor I went from start to end just to let you see what the whole process is if you guys haven't ran over there and check out Smokey Uncuffed, you can find me on YouTube, on podcast, and on my website, Smokey Uncuffed. And if y'all haven't done yet on this channel, please subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.